I'm Hazel Ketchum. And I'm John Holenko. And we're owners and operators of Hungry Monk Music in Charleston, South Carolina. Since 1993. <laughs> playing piano um, at Hungry Monk Music, and my teacher is Miss Hazel. Hi, my name is John Lewis, and this is my fifth year in hung at Hungry Monk Music, and my teacher is Miss Hazel. Two. Two. Kind of looking to make a folk school. So even though we had gotten degrees in classical music, we wanted to uh, have it be a place where people could explore any kind of folk music that they wanted. We've always been performers and I think that the time we spend uh, performing informs what we do with our students in terms of playing. Not that the students have to always perform, but I think it's a way to understand what they're doing with music and what the outcome could be. It's great because it's a great community of teachers. We're all musicians that play other than just teaching. It's just a great thing. I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to teach here and to be around these kids. It's so rewarding and also to share my music and my love of music, which is what Hazel and what this place is all about. I think. Well, we knew we wanted to do uh, activities regularly that fostered that community. So we started a monthly coffee house, and at that, anybody can get up and, and play not just one song, but they can sit down and maybe play for 10 minutes and play or get up again so they can play and get down, and if they felt nervous, they can go take another try at it. Um, <laughs> I love the atmosphere here. When I left Pennsylvania, I didn't realize that coming to work at, at this studio would be the biggest change in my life. Working with the folks here at Hungry Monk and the, the concept they have about holistic music and um, having the kids play with each other and so forth has just been a, a wonderful thing for me. We, we started some activities in summer camps, too, where people could make friends and, and the adults as well. It's not fun for the parents to just come and drop their child off, but they, they make friends, too. multi-generational aspect of it is kids and their parents uh, taking lessons, kids and their grandparents taking lessons. I used to play music with Hazel in an all-girls bluegrass band called the Marshgrass Mamas. And then I had a baby. When she was about three, she took a liking to the fiddle, started bringing her to lessons every year. And we come every week and we come on Saturdays to the group. It's just a great place to come and play music and be part of music. Uh, yeah, my name is Terry Ryan. Um, I teach guitar and banjo and bass here at Hungry Monk. I've never had a more positive musical experience than this place. Uh, there's no teacher here that isn't an excellent musician. Most rewarding parts of doing Hungry Monk music now for 
20 years is just seeing the progression of the students and uh, how they're all out there doing interesting things. I mean, some of them are professional musicians, uh, some are teaching in university programs, uh, classical music, some are teaching in band programs, uh, locally even. So after uh, about 20 years or more of doing this, we find that um, our own kids are starting to take uh, an active role in what we do here, uh, running programs and summer camps and teaching students first came to Charleston, now their children are part of uh, the Hungry Mug community and performing and performing as students. I'm Hazel Ketchum. And I'm John Holinka. We're from Charleston, South Carolina. We're the Hungry Monks and this is Moonshine Down.